everyone, Katie from Epi Tennis. Hope you guys are doing great today. In a different spot for recording this video, I am in my dorm, but in our classroom. So we actually have a classroom in our dorm. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to sign up for an ITF tournament. This is super exciting because a lot of people don't know how to do that. But why am I telling you guys this? Well, I have started to sign up for professional events. So I'm gonna be taking you guys through that and it's quite a difficult process, let me tell you that. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that here in a little bit, but I'm also gonna talk about what's kind of going on in my life regarding ITF tournaments and why I think this is gonna be kind of valuable to you guys. So it's valuable because, excuse me, it's valuable to you guys because a lot of people don't know how to do it and oftentimes they do it wrong and they just eventually end up not doing it at all. So that's why I want to show you. So what is going on for me? I my goal is to is to go all the way, make it as far as I possibly can, and by that, playing Grand Slams, like I really want to do that. That's my goal. Uh, whether it happens or not, we'll see. Uh, but I'm definitely going to be trying my hardest for that. But the first step is to play in these low tier pro events. So I did register for some uh, this month. We are now in October. Uh, one has already passed, I was not able to get into it, and I'll explain about that later on why you can't get into certain events. Uh, but yeah, I tried to get into one to Ithaca, New York, did not get into it. I uh, tried to get into another one in Ithaca, did not get into it, and now there's one that's coming up in Canada that I'm actually probably going to be able to play doubles in, which is super exciting. It's a M25 in Quebec City, so I'll leave school hopefully to go play in that and I will kind of show you guys how to sign up now. Alrighty everyone, here we go. Starting in Google, because this just means that you need to have a device to do this. So you can either use your phone or you can use your computer. I suggest using the computer because it's just easier to uh, get around the websites and stuff that we're gonna be going on. So first, I recommend going to the ITF website So here you're going to be able to see where the tournament calendars, the ITF tours, results, rankings, all this news and media stuff if you're interested in that. I just like uh, showing you guys this first just so you can kind of get yourself comfortable in the ITF space, um, especially if you're a junior, they got the junior calendar down here. I didn't play ITFs as a junior, but that's just nice to know if you are good enough and want to do it. That's here. There's also like the Masters Tour calendar, beach tennis, which is cool on a side note of that. And then some other cool little things that they got on here as well. But once you feel comfortable on here, you need to go to this white tab thing up here called IPIN. You need this. You need this to register for tournaments. So you got to click on that. That brings me here. So IPIN means the International Player Identification Number. And you can see that right here. So if we scroll down a bit, we have all this good stuff right here. Okay. So if you want to register, you want to click this button that says register. There are also some, you know, frequently asked questions down here. So like, what are the minimum ages players must be able to attain an IPIN? Um, do you have to pay? Yes, you do have to pay. It's 65 US dollars for one year. Uh, and some other stuff down here uh, as well that you guys can check out. But we want to register because I'm going to take you guys through the process. So this is where you're going to arrive. You know, it's got my stuff in there, my email, my password. I'm not going to go in there yet because this is where you want to go. If you don't have an account, you're going to click sign up now. You are going to choose your language of choice. So Hopefully, uh, some you guys speak English, French, or Spanish because it looks like that's all they got on here, which is probably not a great thing. I can speak, excuse me, I can speak French or English, so we'll go with English though for now. And then this is where you're going to create your profile. Okay, so let's say I don't know, my name is Bob, Bob Nadeau at gmail.com, and then. My name is Bob. Can't type right now. Nido. 
Um, I'm from Canada. Nationality. I don't know. Let's just say I'm Cap Verdian. This is just an example. And then you're going to put your, your gender. I'm male. Date of birth, blah, blah, blah. Then you're going to click next. You're going to go through the process. And you're going to create your profile. They might send you some email verification stuff. So be uh, on the lookout for your email to verify some things there. And then what they're going to get you to do is do this little like 30 minute like introduction quiz thing where you're going to have to answer questions, go through like PowerPoint like slides, not like actual PowerPoint, but like stuff that you need to complete to be able to like obtain the IPIN. And then you got to pay in there as well. Okay. So once you have created all of that, you've gone through the player creation profile. We'll go back. We will arrive here where you can sign in at your IPIN. So I'm going to sign into my account. And here we can see all the goodies. Okay. So it says, hi, Kate. If I go to my profile, I can click there, player dashboard, player calendar. We are in where we want to be to register for tournaments now. Okay. So if I want to register for a tournament, da, 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 I will go to tournament calendar, tournament calendar. So let's say... I don't want to go, I don't want to go to the end 25 here. I don't want to go here. Let's keep going down. Hmm. I want to go to this cool place. Sozo, Sozo pole. All right. Uh, actually that one's not going to let me, it's not going to let me enter. So that's a bad example. Let's go to Glasgow. If I want to go to this N 25 in Great Britain, Glasgow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter. Oh, it won't let me enter. Uh, you cannot enter this tournament because the deadline is already deadline is already passed. Okay, too bad. A bad example again. Um, let's go way down just to give an example. See, there's plenty of tournaments here. See how much I'm scrolling here, and we're only in November. That's one thing about ITFs; so they are everywhere. This is a good one. Austin, Texas, M25, hard court, outdoor, blah blah blah. I'm going to click this green button here to enter. I'm going to go in for single. I can enter for singles and doubles but let's just go for singles for now. I'm going to confirm it and I have been entered into the tournament. So now that I've been entered into the tournament, I'm going to go to my player calendar and sorry, player dashboard. I think my bad player dashboard. I'm going to scroll down and I see that the M 25 Austin, Texas has been added. Okay. So this is some interesting stuff to keep in mind here. I'm going to go to the fact sheet on the fact sheet here. There's some really good information. So like what the ball they're going to be using, where's the address, anybody you need to contact the formats, uh, the entry fees, you know, tax deducted stuff. Like I said, there's contact information here. That's very important travel guidelines, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this is super important to look at if you are registering for a tournament. So I'm going to click back. So I can't go to the M25 in Austin. So I'm going to go to edit entries right here and I'm going to withdraw. Okay. So this is how you withdraw. You go back to edit entries. I'm going to click the singles right here and I'm going to go confirm. So now I've withdrawn from the M25 in Austin. It's really as sim simple as that. But actually, I want to talk about these two tournaments that are right here on my schedule. I briefly talked about these when I was doing you know, the intro to the video. But this M15 down here in Ithaca, New York, was something that I wanted to do. But unfortunately, if I go to the entries... This is how the entries work. You click on the entries and you're able to see all of the people that are in the tournament. So once before uh, the deadline is closed, once the deadline closes, they come out with something called an acceptance list. And this is the acceptance list for the M15 in Ithaca. So they're only going to allow, I believe, a round of 32 is how they do it uh, in M15s and M25s. Okay. So they have these things called alternates 
So these are all the people that aren't eligible for even the qualifying. So I unfortunately fell way down on this list. So many people wanted to, to get into this. I'm not even going to bother scrolling. See all these players. You might even recognize some of them. So if I go to Cade, trying to search my name, I'm 226 down the list, okay? And then there's so many more players. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Look at all of these, okay? So there's 422 players that are alternates, okay? So if you're lucky, um, you can get into some of those tournaments. But if they're highly, like, contested, if they're highly contested, then uh, it's tough to get in them. And that's why it's tough to get into that Ithaca one. So I will not get into that one. However, there's this St. Augustine, which is in Quebec City in Canada, and I'm registered to play doubles in that. My singles, however, is 30. I'm 30 on the wait, the wait list, I call it sometimes. I'm 30 on the alternates, 30 something. Um, here I am right here. So actually, it's funny, I know a lot of names in here, which is cool, but since you guys might be thinking like, why am I higher in this list compared to the Ithaca list? Because, you know, like Ithaca's M15, M25, there's more money in this one. It is because I have a Canadian national ranking. So it's very important that you have a high national ranking because that is the one, two, that's the fourth priority. So if you have an ATP ranking, see right here, you are going to get big priority. If you have ATP PR, that's the next priority. Then ITF World Ranking, which you need to obtain by playing in ITFs and getting points. And then National Ranking. So right here. So as you guys can see, if I go down, K Nadeau has a ranking of 142 in Canada. So that's why I was able to get high in the Canadian one, okay? But I do not have an ATP rank, hopefully someday, but I don't have that. So that's why I'm not able to get on the uh, acceptance list right away. I could get on the acceptance list right away if they didn't have many people that registered or there wasn't a uh, very high ranked player such as, you know, like Liam Draxel, who's like 498 in the world, really good college player. Just an example, okay? So that is this tournament. So my plan is to play doubles I plan to play doubles in this tournament with Jonathan Berling, who's also at the SNU team. Um, you might have just saw his name there. He was the one right after me. So that is that, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you do it. All right, everyone. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, it clarified some questions. If you had questions regarding ITFs and how to sign up, this is super exciting for me, but also now super exciting for you guys, because if you guys want to, you now know how. So I hope you guys have a great day and thank you for stopping by.